know you're not. I know you're not really Olivia Pope, but didn't Huck torture Quinn? And how dare he be mad at you? Judge me, right? For killing her, yeah. So, I, Jimmy, did you ask me to be here tonight because you think I'm really Olivia Pope? You want me to handle Stormy Daniels? Like, I'm not me? actually a fixer. Oh, <laughs> you're not. I'm not really a fixer. That would be something. I think she could use you. I think you could be, uh, I think Olivia, wherever she is, could be of great help to Stormy. As she weathers this, uh, well, storm. storm. Yeah. <laughs> you, um, it's your birthday tomorrow. Happy it birthday. Is. Thank That's you. exciting. You like that? I do. I, I'm, I feel like, um, I was really thinking about it today. Like, it's hard. I mean, this genuinely, it's hard to make any wishes for myself when I'm blowing out candles because I have everything I've ever wanted. You know what I mean? I've got, like, the best job ever, which is ending soon, sadly. Um, <laughs> but a great family and, you know, everything. To have my episode I directed be airing the day after my birthday. Oh, that's right. You sweet. directed yeah. that episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was directing, had you, you hadn't directed an episode before. No, this before. was my first time directing. Was it what you scandal. Th thought it would be? Was it easier, harder, I more I was fun? in the episode a lot more than I thought I would be. I thought they would write me light so I could focus on doing something I'd never done before. Um, I am notoriously awful to Tony Goldwyn, who plays the president, or the former president on our he show. He directs a lot of he episodes. He directs a lot, and I'm very mean to him when he directs. And then after I directed, he directed again, and I was super nice. Oh, you were? Yeah, because directing is hard. And directing <laughs> yourself is really hard. And you want the actors to cooperate. And so for seven years, I've been torturing him. Uh, and so now that the show's almost over, all of a sudden, nice you're going to be nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you actually posted a photograph online that I wanted to uh, show. Did. This is Kobe Bryant yes. photobombing <laughs> on the set of Scandal. There we are, trying to work. How did that happen? So Kobe, I mean, you know this. Kobe kind of goes around and interviews successful people about yes, how to be successful. Yes, he's never done that to me, but I've heard tale of this. <laughs> it's a sign. Yeah. It's a sign. Uh, but he wasn't there to talk to me. He was talking to Shonda about oh, all of was. Shonda land. Oh. And, um, and so he visited Scandal, and he was a good sport. I asked him if he would pretend to photobomb us, and we could pretend to be annoyed. Was Kobe he there Bryant for there. your, like, onset birthday celebration? He was. Oh, he okay. was. So I had Kobe Bryant at my birthday party is, on set on Monday. Is Kobe... Who you had at your birthday party, Jimmy? <laughs> No, I think I had the backup point guard. <laughs> <laughs> it was Kobe like the who was the biggest? Well, literally Kobe may He's have probably been the, the biggest, biggest, but yeah. who was the biggest on-set visitor in all the years of scandal as far as fame goes? Oh, I mean Kobe's pretty amazing. And I was gonna say but, but and and um, I mean Hillary Clinton coming. Well, that's to a set big one, yeah. Pretty... That's a pretty big one. Yeah. Um, I hope all you people voted. Um, <laughs> And we'll vote again. It doesn't matter now. Well, for <laughs> midterms, midterms. We have a shot, people, midterms. <laughs> Please show up. Please show up. Your country needs you. Um, but also, we've had Oprah. Oh, that's a very Oprah's big... Oprah's a yeah, big Yeah, that's gap. the biggest one there is. Oprah's a big gap. Which would be bigger, the Pope or Oprah? If the Pope showed up, would that be bigger than Oprah? Oh, I really love this current Pope, <laughs> Pope Frankie. <laughs> I really like him, but I, I mean, I don't... I ask other people. You should ask people on the street. I don't want to get not get into heaven because I said Oprah. I see. You know what I mean? You, uh, and I'm not even Catholic, but... You have a crossover episode with How to Get Away with Murder. Yes. Viola Davis was there. <laughs> Have. Do you have a lot of scenes together? We do have. Well, we crossed over on both shows. So Viola comes to How to Get Away. Viola comes to Scandal, and then I went to How to Get Away with Murder. Was that fun awesome. for you? So a lot of hard work, but really fun. I was She's talking, the best. I was talking to Viola about this, and I miss those. That, that used to happen, like in the '70s. Yeah. Like Laverne and Shirley would go out on a date with like Richie and yes, Fawn. Exactly. And exactly. it was like, oh my God, what's happening? As I they know. crossed over that line that I thought could never, ever be crossed. I, it's pretty awesome. I mean, I remember Shonda saying early on that we would never do it, and then we they came up with a storyline where it actually makes sense and works, and it was really fun. There was this moment. I guess Viola has this belief that Olivia Pope walks very fast. Mm -hmm. And she does. Olivia Pope has like a walk. It's a very powerful kind of walk. And so we were doing one scene where we were walking together and I was like out of breath trying to keep up with her. I was like, what are you doing? She was like, I got to keep up with you. So she was like speeding down the street and I'm dying to catch up with her just because she was afraid of my walk. It's like a little Olympic preview that we're watching yeah. there. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. that's going to be, that, that'll be a lot of fun to watch. I and you have a show on Facebook 
I do. Now, what is I that do. Show? It's called Five Points. They do a, on the Facebook Watch platform. They have a lot of reality programming. But my company, Simpson Street, we're producing the very first narrative. So it's a drama. It's called Five Points. And actually, if you tune into my social media tomorrow, I'll actually say the day that we're premiering. Oh, you will. So, okay, yeah. so that's you're teasing a tease. I am. <laughs> is that okay? There's a lot of teasing. Yeah. <laughs> Very teasing. <laughs> I'm a tease. What can I say? Did you I'm watch the State of the Union tonight? I did. I, I, I did. Did you stand up in all the right places? Meaning not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of respect for the office of the president, but I, I am very, very upset with the state of our union. Yeah. So. Well, yeah. You, um, by the way, I just, I don't know why this popped in my head, but when you are directing, do you practice how you're going to say action? Like, is it like action or is it just like a action? I actually, we've had a couple rehearsals where my daughter's been around and we've sort of encouraged her to say action and we actually listen and start to rehearse when she says it. And then I noticed when I say it that I basically sound like her. So I sound like a three and a half year old. When oh, I say yes. action. people are being directed by yeah. a child. <laughs> yes, but they still listen to me, which is amazing. Well, it's great yeah. to have you here. Thank I can't believe this is it here. for this is it for the season. It's uh, please crazy. come back one more time before this I'll is think over, about and then it. come back, you know, after that. But I we'll love talk you. about different. Thank you for always being so kind to our show. Of course, Kerry Washington, everybody. Scandal <laughs> Thursday nights, nine o'clock here on ABC, and our new show Five Points premieres next month on Facebook Watch. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel, and this is the internet. I made it myself. Hit subscribe if you like it.